What's the most inconvenient thing about playing the saxophone? Is it pushing your way past the legions of fans assembled at your doorstep every single day? Is it deciding between all of the lucrative recording contracts flooding your inbox? Or is it just that thin piece of cane stuck to your mouthpiece? Like so many other sax players, I have a love-hate relationship with my reads. When you get a good read, getting into the zone of a practice or a performance can feel effortless. But when you get a bad one, nothing about the sax can sound or feel right. Not only can reads be quite inconsistent, but they have a limited lifespan. And as we all know, they also tend to be quite expensive. So at least on paper, the idea of a synthetic read that's perfectly consistent, incredibly durable, but still plays with a great tone, sounds like the perfect solution. But as I mentioned in my read overview video that I released a couple of years ago, when I've tried synthetic reads in the past, they haven't exactly done it for me. I found their sound to be too buzzy and lacking the warmth and projection of a good cane reed. Plus the feeling of a synthetic reed in my mouth just felt strange to me after years of playing cane reeds. Well, not long ago, Legere, who are a very popular Canadian company that makes synthetic reeds, reached out to me hoping to change my mind about synthetic reeds. They've released their American cut and signature cut line of reeds, which are an evolution of their original classic cut, which was originally based off their prototype. In particular, the American cut reed is more responsive and brighter sounding than the other reeds in their range, and they're made for jazz players in mind. So they've kindly sent me some samples of their reeds to review for this channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing their signature cut and their American cut reads in a blind test to my current go-to read, which is the Vandora Java Filed. I'm gonna be trying these out on the tenor saxophone, but I do expect similar results on the alto. Now, just as a disclaimer here, guys, Legere kindly provided me these reads in exchange for an unbiased review. All of the opinions here are my own, and there are no pre-arranged talking points or anything like that. So will you or I be able to tell the difference between these Legere reads and the Van Doren reads? Make sure to leave a comment with your favorite sounding read, A, B, or C, down below. Of course, stick around for the big reveal and my personal thoughts on these reads at the end of the play test. But before we get into it, if you're a complete beginner on the saxophone and you're not sure where to start, check out lesson one of the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. It's got everything you need to get started and there's a link up here and in the description down below. So let's get into it. Okay guys, now is the time for the grand reveal. 
Read A is the Leger American Cut. Read B is the Van Doren Java Filed. And of course, that means Read C is the Leger Signature Cut. Now, are you surprised by these results? Did you pick the synthetic reads from the Van Doren read? Or did they all sound the same to you? I'd love to know your thoughts. So please leave a comment right down below. So the first thing that ran through my mind when I tried these reads out are, wow, synthetic reads really have come a long way. Honestly, I could absolutely play the American Cut read at a gig and very much doubt that anyone in the audience, even a sax player, would be able to tell necessarily that I was playing a synthetic read. The thing about being a professional sax player though, is that we're always searching for those minute little improvements in tone. And when I say improvements, I say that very subjectively because what we're really doing is moving closer towards our ideal personal tone. It's the same reason why we might experiment with different ligatures or get our saxophone repadded with different pads or even swap out a neck. Every change is supposed to be one small step closer to where we want to be sonically. So in that light, can I tell the difference between these Leger reeds and my go-to Van Doren? Well, the answer is yes. The Van Doren cane read to me is just a little bit warmer, which is a quality that I'm looking for in my tone. But could I see these reads becoming part of my own read arsenal? Yeah, absolutely. I think there are four ways in which owning at least one of these reads is gonna be useful to almost any saxophone player. Number one is if you're playing outdoors. When you're playing outdoors, a lot of the acoustic qualities of the saxophone can change dramatically. That small difference in tone, which you could hear in a studio setting, would be almost completely erased outdoors. Also, when you're playing outdoors, you generally have to play louder, which means you blow harder, which can spell an early death for your cane read. Number two is you're playing in the cold. Now this point sort of leads on from my last one. If you're playing somewhere where it's cold and there's very dry air, I'm thinking of somewhere like Europe in the winter, this can play absolute havoc with your cane reeds. What happens is the moisture of your reeds gets sucked out by the cold dry air and that leaves your reeds looking like a sheet of corrugated iron. Not only does the tone become a weird mix of shrill and stuffy, but the reed will be very unresponsive and very difficult to play. Now these synthetic reeds, they don't absorb moisture, so you don't even have to wet them before you play. And you don't have to worry about them warping with changes of temperature. And that's certainly a game changer for a lot of folks living in cold climates. Number three is if you need a reliable backup read. Now one thing that I absolutely believe in for any saxophone player is developing a simple read system so you know which read is your primary read and which is your backup read and how you're going to safely store them so you can maximize their lifespan. Most of this can be solved with a simple read case and a label. In fact, I walk you through this process in my read system video right up here. But keeping a synthetic read as a backup also makes a lot of sense. After all, you know exactly how they're going to play, they last for ages and they're extremely durable. And the number four reason why you might want to consider a synthetic read is if you want to save money. Now, at first glance, you might be a little put off by the price of these Leger reads. According to the Leger website, one of these tenor American cut reads will run you 37 US dollars. Now, when you compare that to a box of five Van Doren Java reads at $23.50, for the cost of one Leger read, you could be purchasing nearly eight Java reads. So the question becomes, is there eight reads worth of longevity in one of these Leger reads? The sense that I get is yes. Now, it's too early for me to tell exactly how long one of these Leger reads lasts, but in the last few weeks of me playing them, I haven't noticed any discernible changes to the tone or feel of these reads. My sense so far is that of the two to six month time frame that Leger say is the approximate lifespan of these reads, if you're willing to accept a very slight degradation of tone, the actual lifespan should be much closer to that six month mark or even beyond that. 
And when you add in the fact that some of the cane reeds in that theoretical group of eight might not even be in great playing shape out of the box anyway, that equation does start to swing more in favor of the synthetic reeds. So guys, let's summarize things like this. If you're a relative beginner on the saxophone and you don't wanna to have to deal with changing your reeds very often, that small tonal difference I talked about earlier is unlikely to even be a factor for you. By all means, give these Leger reeds a go. If you're a more experienced player and you like the tone of these Leger reeds, or if you're just a bit of a gear nerd, I do think that these new cuts of reeds are worth a small investment. But if you're a purist, you don't like the tone of these reeds, or you're just happy with what you've got, it's fine to stick with what you have. But brace yourselves because I've got a feeling that the synthetic revolution is just around the corner. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said at the start, if you're a complete beginner on the saxophone, check out lesson one of the Sax Trisha Beginner series. You can watch it for free right here on YouTube. The complete package, if you're interested, has 12 lesson videos, a 68 page ebook, and over 200 demo tracks to play along with. So you can finally conquer the saxophone. Head on over to saxtuition.com if you'd like to pick it up. Remember to hit like on this video and share your thoughts and experiences with Legere or any other brands of synthetic reeds below, and I'll see you all again soon.